All right, can you just kind of reflect on your first spring at UCF? How did everything go out there? I had fun. It was a blast. Uh, last one. So uh, I had fun. Enjoyed every moment of it. Embraced every moment of it. Uh, glad to be uh, UCF night. So looking forward to it. Hey, Chief, what was the biggest takeaway from the spring for you? Uh, just being consistent. Uh, that's the main thing I'm trying to focus on remaining. Uh, just focusing each and every day I step on the field is my approach each and every day and uh, approach to get better, approach to be elite. And uh, so just being consistent, that brings along with being elite. KJ, you had a lot of big plays, it seems like, tonight. What does that say about you and your offense? You're starting to find that chemistry, or what else would that be kind of a show up here? Uh, we want to start, I mean, that's the main thing coming out a uh, game. We want to be able to start fast, kind of jump up on teams early and try to hold that momentum throughout the whole uh, game. So that was our main point of emphasis uh, going into the spring was we wanted to be able to come out, be explosive, stretch the ball down the field, and put the, playmaker, put the ball in playmakers' hand and make plays. With Kobe being held back throughout spring, what did you like most about the way other guys stepped up with wide receiver? Uh, like I said, it's always been iron sharpening the iron in that room, and uh, those guys make the most of their opportunity when it presented itself. So, extremely proud of that group, and uh, extremely proud of uh, Kobe as well, being able to not be able to own the field, but be able to coach those guys and uh, give them some pointers from being a veteran guy. Talk a little bit about Xavier Townsend. You guys connected a couple times during the game. Would you say the two of you are really building chemistry throughout the spring? Yeah, we have. I mean, X has stepped up uh, in that nine role position uh, since Kobe went out. So X has stepped up tremendously. And uh, like you said, the chemistry, I mean, we're clicking, we're uh, figuring each other out on different things. Every time we come to the sideline, we're talking about things that I'm seeing and things you're seeing. So, I mean, that, so far, that chemistry is going good. We just got to make it stronger uh, in the offseason. What components of the offense do you feel like you've firmly grasped at this stage? I and mean, what are you looking to most kind of uh, hold in on it? perfect by the time the fall, the fall comes around. I just keep my eyes down the field. I mean, not being able to try to take out running uh, so quick uh, when it's, I mean, just being the quarterback next level stuff, just being able to keep my eyes down the field and make sure I stretch the ball down the field and get the ball in the playmaker's hands and not being able to just escape so quick and panic when the rushes or a guy's free and being able to panic and stuff like that. So just being cool, calm, collected in the, in the pocket and being able to get the ball to the playmakers. Uh, Jared has had a couple injuries in his career. He's been in in and out of the lineup on defense. What, did, uh, what have you seen from him this spring? Obviously, he finished with over 100 total yards. And just how has your relationship with him grown? Uh, it's grown. I mean, he's came in each and every day. Uh, we talked about different things, different scenarios, and things that I'm thinking of those scenarios. And clip situation, Coach Malzahn always put a big emphasis on just starting fast. I mean, just being able to come out and start fast. And we did that coming out the gate. I mean, he caught two passes right out the gate and got us to a great start, a fresh start. So, I mean, just having a guy like that that's uh, consistent in practice, uh, just love to win, just has a passion for the game. Chief, yeah, how was it with having special moments with us? Uh, it was a, it was a extremely uh, special moment. I mean, it's it's bigger than football. I always tell people that it's bigger than football, and just to see those smiles on those kids' faces and being able to just hear their story and uh, just be able to be a part of their story as well, and just be a, a learning. I mean, just learning uh, learning them also as well. So it was an extremely proud thing uh, to be able to, for some of the guys to go to the hospital and just share a moment with them. There were a couple of scenarios where you guys, you guys tried to push the ball down the field and didn't go well. But you did like a little check down and dump off, and your guys took it 50, 60 yards at a time. What does that say about the versatility of your playmakers and the wide receiver? I wish a special group out there on the field. I mean, everybody's special. Uh, everybody's special with the ball in their hands. I mean, just not being so greedy at times and just being able to just take a check down here and there and those guys just making big plays out of it. So I always go back to just saying, just get the ball to the playmakers and they'll make plays for you. So just not being too greedy, just being, you know. KJ, um, obviously RJ didn't play tonight, so obviously he's mm -hmm. next pass pro some, but how do you think pass pro win tonight, and what, what do you think needs to be shorted a little bit? Uh, I mean, we got to clean up some things. I mean, there's always things to uh, improve on, get better at. Uh, so far, uh, just those guys uh, did a great job communicating. Uh, the, a big point of emphasis uh, for quarterback, running back, tight end, all guys that protect is communication is first. I mean, that's what everybody want to be on the same page, so they did an extremely job communicating. I mean, there's things that we got to clean up and things we got to re-ID and stuff like that, but so far I think we're in a good spot. Uh, just going into off season, I mean, we'll, it'll grow, and I think first coming first game will be great. KJ, off season coming up, what do you want to focus on during that time, and and, and how much of of that is spent here on campus and other places as well? Uh, just building a bond with my teammates, uh, making that bond even stronger. Uh, just past football, uh, so just being able to just come in each and every day with a chip on my shoulder. That I mean, we want to be able to come in and be uh, uh, make it to the uh, playoff. So, I mean, that's the main thing going into it. I mean, I'm holding guys to a high standard, and I want them to hold me to a high standard as well. I mean, we all in this together. So, I mean, that's the main thing that we want to do this offseason, just come in and just put in the work. Take about a goal. 
a goal of making the playoff? Is that something that you've talked about with the guys? Or RJ Kobe, is that something that you foresee as being a realistic uh, goal? Oh, for sure. I mean, that's the main thing, but uh, we don't too much just try to talk about it. We try to take one day at a time, and we focus on the first game. I mean, we want to take one game at a time. We don't want to get too, too ahead of ourselves. We want to take it one day at a time and just keep perfecting our craft one day at a time. You think this is a championship caliber team? Oh, yes, sir, for sure. I mean, just with the guys we got and the, the guy, the playmakers that we have that be able to just do some special things here. And I, I mean, I see it, I feel it. So, I mean, I think we're going to do, do a great thing uh, this year. Going head-to-head -head with your defense over the course of the last month, what do you think the uh, biggest problem they'll pose for opposing quarterbacks? Them guys can hit. Them guys <laughs> coming down here. Them guys coming down here. I mean, that's what you want to see from the defense. Guys flying around, uh, rallying to the ball, all 11 hats getting to the ball. So, I mean, that's what you want to see from the defense, those guys flying around and, and they got them pads popping out there, so I mean, it, it's all good just being able to see those guys just fly around and uh, also just ball skills and things of that nature too. So they're doing some gr really good things on that side of the ball. Perfect. Good stuff, David. Thank y'all. Thanks so much, everyone. That's all for tonight.